All right, let's look at this indices question here. Okay, when we want to solve this type of uh, indices uh, question, all right, what we want is eventually to reach a point where the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation, okay, are represented like this, where I have a common base, okay, equals to some different powers. And what uh, does this tell us? Okay, if since we are saying that both of them are equal, that means that if both the bases are the same, that automatically implies that both the powers have to be the same. Alright, so this is the uh, direction that you want to move the question towards. Alright, you want to have uh, an expression on the left hand side and the right hand side where both the bases are the same and then we can do a comparison of the powers all right and why you want to do this is because the unknown variable x is actually in the powers all right so this allows us to move towards a point where we can now just focus on the powers and solve for x all right now you can see that the three numbers here are 5 25 1 2 5 okay so of course here is 1 over 5 but effectively, all right, uh, we can sort of intuitively guess that the common base has to be 5, all right, because uh, 5 to the power of 1 is 5, 5 squared is 25, okay, and 5 cubed is 1, 2, 5, all right, so we can sort of intuitively guess that the common base has to be 5, all right, and of course, this comes with some practice and, you know, solving more sums, then you get the hang of it, correct? Now, how do we go about doing this? So let's apply the rules uh, step by step. Okay, so for this first uh, bracket here, 1 over 5, uh, it comes to the rule that says uh, 1, 1 over, uh, let, me write, let me write the general rule here, 1 over a to the n is equal to a to the power of minus n. Alright, so in this case, it's 1 over 5. 1 over 5 means 1 over 5 to the power of 1. Right, so uh, if I were to apply this rule, I can rewrite it as 5 to the power of minus 1 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 25 is 5 square to the power of x minus 2 and 1 to 5 is 5 cubed to the power of 2x minus 3. All right. Now, what is the next step? The next step is applying another rule. The other rule that, that, that we need to apply in, in terms of indices is a to the power of n bracket n. Okay, so this is what we are seeing in all the three terms here. There's a power within the bracket and there, there is a power term outside the bracket. Okay, so to deal with this, the indices rule says that a to the uh, power m bracket n is a to the power of m multiplied by n. Right, so this uh, we have to be very careful all right because outside the bracket we have an expression not a single term an expression with uh, two terms so when we do the multiplication it has to be across all the terms all right so over here it will be 5 to the power of minus 1 to the power of x plus 1 okay so i'm just uh, rewriting it uh, to sort of clearly show what we need to do so what we need to do is we need to do an ex expansion uh, where the uh, term outside is multiplied by all the terms inside. Okay, so here I have 5 to the power of minus x minus times plus is minus 1. Alright, uh, divided by 5 to the power of 2x, 2 times x, and 2 times minus 2, so minus 4 equals to 5 to the power of 3 times 2 is 6 x 3 times 3 is 9 minus 9 okay so this is an important step we need to make sure we multiply it correctly into all the terms in the bracket okay now the next step is here we have a divide so the indices rule that we can apply here is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n 
is e to the power of m minus n all right so again over here we need to be very careful because uh, there is a subtraction involved so when i do the subtraction i must make sure i put the whole thing here in brackets okay then i can uh, follow algebra rules to open up the bracket so i have 5 to the power of minus x minus 1 minus times plus will be minus 2x minus times minus will be plus 4 Okay, 5 to the power of 6x minus 9. Alright, then here I can uh, simplify it a bit. Alright, I can say 5. So minus x and minus 2x is minus 3x. 4 minus 1 is plus 3. It goes to 5 to the power of 6x minus 9. Alright, so now what do you see? You see that we have reached a point, okay, uh, which we actually set out to achieve. What do we want to achieve? We wanted to achieve this. Okay, we wanted to uh, move towards a point where both the bases are the same and then we can compare the powers. So that is exactly to the point where we have come. Alright, so as you can see right now, okay, both the bases are the same which means that I can now compare my powers here. All right, so this power and this power are now considered the same. So let's go on to do that here. So I'm going to write it here. Minus 3x plus 3 is equals to 6x minus 9. All right, so I'm going to move the 3 over here. So it will be 6x plus 3x and move the 9 over here 9 plus 3 so 9x equals to 12 okay so i'm just going to rewrite it the other way around so x is equals to 12 over 9 and i can simplify it to uh, divide by 3 will be 4 over 3 okay so that is the final answer for this question Alright, so you can see that uh, the approach is always uh, very similar. Okay, what we want is we want to move towards the point where both the bases are the same and then we can compare the, compare the powers. Alright, and from there we can solve for x. Alright, so I hope uh, this question has uh, further reinforced your concepts uh, in indices. Alright, thank you.